violet. Ruggedly beautiful and in an awe-inspiring situation. If you'd like to see Orton Cross Castle restored and fully accessible to ordinary people, then this. This week on Time Trumpet, 2008, the year Britain descended into a morass of drunk, bingy drinking that turned dangerous. Everyone that presented television shows was drunk. Hugh Edwards is mostly off his face. Are we doing for tapes? Right, now what we're going to do, make the sauce very quick, very easy process. Brandy, which we give just a little bit of flames, you know, to me and flames, we like that. And that's just burning off the alcohol. Britain in 2031, an overcrowded land, where even football is overcrowded. But at least we're sober, not like in 2008. But if you're looking for a sports coupe, Aston. Rubbish. I'm not. You oh, see, no. Yeah. There'd be whole news bulletins where you couldn't make out anything at a Apart from sort of giggling and slurring. Yeah, and watching that with me is our political editor, Andrew Marr. Andrew is still digesting details of tonight's reshuffle. I can't remember if it was Jon Snow and um, Christian Guru Murphy. One of these double acts had a thing they did while they were drunk where one of them would go, it's nine o'clock, here are the news headlines, and the other one would go, it's nine o'clock, here are the news, and all that sort of thing. And there was a lot of that on the news in those days. One person would say, there's been a shooting, and they'd say, oh, a shooting! We were never pissed on screen, were we? <laughs> no, never, we wouldn't touch a drop like. But that Silla Black, she came on, she was all over the place, she was pulling at her hair, tugging it, and going, it's a wig, it's a wig. It wasn't. And Bill Turnbull and Anna Ford, um, they got pissed with, uh, what's his name, George... George Elagaya. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, George <laughs> Elagaya, just before he did the six o'clock news, and the shape off his head. Right. But it didn't grow back properly, so he spent the rest of his life with this weird half haircut. Serves him right. <laughs> At six o'clock, these are tonight's top stories. Binge drinking, a special report on how even six-year-olds are ending up in casualty. These youth workers are looking for underage drinkers. It's straight boys. Anybody else here? But you look really pale. You okay? Come here, let me look at your eyes. This is the outskirts of Southampton, but the increasing number of children and teenagers drinking is a national problem. When I was a kid, you never heard of anyone drinking binge. It was not even an issue. And then suddenly, there's this thing everywhere: binge drinking, binge drinking. I don't really know where it came from. New studios have got more and more relaxed and decadent places anyway. The second day With everyone binged off their face, professional standards plummeted. The of the East Coast main line wasn't up to... And lots of you, uh, sorry <laughs> to interrupt you, but I wanted to tell you that lots of you talking about this on the email. <laughs> oh, gosh. Disco dancing or disinfectant, mm. come on, Cathy. And over to Jamie for something appropriately festive. <laughs> Remember Bill Oddy on Spring Watch? Oh, yeah. Christ, he was awful. He puked in a badger's set and then mm. punched a sparrow. Talking about 2008 on Time Trumpet this week are a veritable who's who of top cultural commentators stroke TV pundits. When I think of life now and life how it was in whatever period of time the clip show today is going to be covering, I think there were some interesting differences between now and then. Some of them good, some of them bad, and I'm happy to elaborate on them in whichever way you feel is most appropriate. What a year, I mean, it was, I mean, it was, it was one year that I will never forget, you know. Which year was that? Do you watch much television now? No, I mean, sometimes, like, at a party, someone will get out a tiny television and you'll look for about ten minutes or something, but... I mean, it would help if, if you said that you watched a lot of television. Oh, yeah, I watch TV all the time. 
Uh, if you are new to home shopping bacon, um, think about this. It's the glamorous films over the last 20 or so years that have made us so big. Think about Deliverance, uh, when the guy says, squeal, piggy, squeal, whilst he's bumming the fat rafter. I mean, it's wham, bam, thank you, ham, if you know what I mean. That's probably why you're here today. How best to beat the smoking ban. Which is imminent. Which is imminent. May, uh, may we present the personalized smoking unit, the PSU. So, you're in a bar sometime in the future. Sorry, there's no smoking here. But I've got one of these. My apologies. Would you like a compliment? So, how does it work, you're probably wondering. This gets plugged into the nearest power point. The cigarettes are here. The smoke comes down here through the filtration system, in and out, handling through this little baby which goes to the nearest door, window, or fire exit. Falls away neatly. We're looking for uh, £100,000 for 10%. 10 I will do the 100000 for 25%. Frankly, that's an insult. This is a work of genius. No, uh, for, for what percent? What? Excuse me. How do you expect to get up to £6 Because that's a huge turnover. Sorry, love, I'm talking to the man. I'm John Humphreys and we're painting a wall. I'm Gavin Essler and we're painting a wall. I'm Jermaine Greer and I'm painting a wall. I'm Nicholas Owen and I'm painting a wall. I just love green. I just love green. I'm painting a wall with my friends. It's good to have friends. See how I'm standing to paint the wall. Still quite a lot to do. And so little time to do it. <laughs> one politician happy to go on painting a wall was David Cameron. Seems to have got a bit of red in this one. Soon Cameron won plaudits for his sure media touch. I did an awful lot of things to, to um, gain popularity. Um, I learned to break dance. I uh, went to the premiere of Ice Age 3 in a mammoth costume, I uh, lived in a tree house, I danced with uh, Natasha Kaplinsky on Comic Relief, I wrapped the five pledges of our manifesto, I sang with McFly. But look at the facts, you know. In 2006, an edition of Question Time would get 1.5 million viewers. If you put a bloke from EastEnders on it, um, it, you know, it might go up to 1.7. How did you sell politics? to the public and the answer was to have a puppet of a donkey asking the person the questions in the company of puppets of animals or objects. So first question from Monkey is what do we call you? Is it Dave? David? Crazy Davey? Cameron was the first politician quite happy to go on this new show. People call me David. I don't really mind and I, I sometimes often don't notice so... Uh... Right. Crazy David Cameron's in the hat. Whatever you like. We used to go on holiday in Spain every year and you'd see the donkey on the beach and you'd see the newsstand next to the donkey and all the kids were looking at the donkey. There were no kids looking at the newsstand. So when the BBC came to me and said, how about doing question time, I thought, yeah, let's have the donkey. So, Davy, can you tell us everything about politics in ten seconds? There are those who come into politics to tell people what to do, that's Tony Blair, and there are those who come into politics to set people free, that is David... The word for it is edutainment, I don't know if you've heard of that. Yes. It's ed yes. It both ed educates yes. and it entertains, and that word's a compound word of those two things, and people say to me, oh, you're always talking about edutainment, what do you mean? What I mean well, it's is... Implication. Or infiltration is another way of saying edutainment. Let's face it, this is exactly the right time to roll one up, isn't it? I, look, I did lots of things before I came into politics that I shouldn't have done. Yeah, right. David Donkey trivialised politics. Well, they said the same thing about politics. Oh, you know, shite guys on, on, on Channel 4. But let me just take on the other two points. No, Monkey's tired. He is only three foot tall, but packed into that is... A, a, a lot of nouse. Oh, oh, Monkey wants to know which